Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel here, Bobby's Girl to Row 444. These are going to be general weekly message here for the sign of Libra for the first week of June. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Libras. Uh, we're going to check uh, you and your partner's energy here, whether you are with a partner already or there is a new potential partner that's coming in. So let's get started, Libra, and see what's going on this week, the first week of June. Happy almost summertime here, Libra. That song I keep hearing in my head is thunder, feel the thunder, lightning and the thunder. I don't know what you're dealing with, Libra, if there's a storm brewing or what. Maybe it's storming in your area here. Uh, depending on where you live in the world, take it as it resonates. So something's going on. Let's see what you should focus on this week, you and your partner, okay? Libra. First week of June. What do they need to focus on? Them and their partner. All right. Priorities. Well, you got three, but I'm going to take down the list. I'll, I'll go over it, okay? So, priorities, okay? And you've got growth. All right. So, I'm even maybe moving here. It's also like moving in with a family or moving out from a family situation. Maybe like outgrowing a family situation. This is like over overgrowth here. Like this tree is coming right through that greenhouse, okay? Priorities. Uh, this is also loyalty. Look at that little Dalmatian down there. You know, uh, your scheduling. So maybe your schedule's uh, filling up here. The quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. So make sure your schedule reflects the life that you want. So uh, a schedule, scheduling your priorities. You know, what's most important to what's least important here. Okay, spending that time wisely. Are you spending en enough time with yourself? Are you spending enough time with work? Are you spending enough time with your family, your children here? So um, getting into those priorities and uh, making sure that uh, you, you have enough time for what you want to do, okay? And, uh, you know, making those priorities... Uh, Fit your needs. That's what they want me to say. Fit your needs. Growth. Yeah, you see how this tree is like coming out? It's like you've outgrown either a family situation or dynamic here. You're just, uh, uh, you're overflowing here. The growth is uh, expanding. Evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So, Maybe you got to get out of that comfort zone. You know, you stay in one spot for too long, it starts to get boring. So you need a little bit more adventure with your life. You know, taking a risk and, uh, you know, being that fool a little bit. You know, taking that leap of faith to go into a new experience is what it's saying. Now, this could be your person's energy also. You know, maybe they are stuck in their own comfort zone. And uh, maybe they are outgrowing and it's deciding to... You know, get uncomfortable. Let's try something new here, okay? Let's see. Energy. Four. What is their current feelings for Libra and their partner or potential partner here or emotional state right now? What do they need to know? What is the energy for Libra and their partner or current, whether it's current or new potential partner? Okay, let's see. Libra and their partner. All right, from foundation. So here we go again about foundation. What's on the bottom? Awareness. Okay, this is using your intuition, insight, seeing things from a higher perspective. Uh, also, temptations around you. What is this one? Accelerated motion, things moving forward, or things needing to move forward in an accelerated motion here. When you wish upon a star, somebody's wishing upon a star. What is this? Okay. <laughs> I'm, mountains over molehills is what I'm hearing. This is also, yeah, there ain't no mountain high enough for you to climb. Yes, you may fall down at times, but, you know, getting back up on that horse or, you know, getting back up on that ladder to, you know, if it, even if it's challenging a little bit, it's saying that you can get through these challenges here. I also feel like some of you need to balance out your sacral chakra here. The number four could be significant. Some of you could be like traveling. I also feel like hiking, 
or getting out and taking walks into nature will help you, okay? Help you with that thinking process, clearing your head out, okay? Um, there could be a lot of temptations around you, pushing away things that no longer serve you, turning your back away, because this person uh, is both showing where they're pushing away, and this guy has his back turned away, so uh, resistance, you know, pushing against that resistance here. So the number 15 could be significant or the number six, this could be things that, that you've done in the past that were, you know, that kept you in your comfort zone that you need to remove, okay? All right, let's see. Or this is your person. Guys, just take them as they resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, Libra, then it's not for you. All right. I just give the messages, guys. Thunder, feel the thunder, lightning and the thunder. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and that could be the temptation there, you know, that storm brewing, someone trying to, you know, uh, tempt you with things that no longer serve you, right? Moving forward, moving forward, all right? Libra, tell me about Libra. Messages. Yeah, okay, so maybe you feel a little uh, discontent right now. You feel like you've been wounded here. I also feel like maybe you're annoyed or somebody is annoying you. All right, this could be around family, walking away, moving away, being guided away. Some of you may have like this, uh, you know, coming out of this mental conflict, you could be dealing with a head injury. This could be just you coming out of the a confused mindset, all right? You're not confused anymore. You could be leaving with a child, okay? It also could be a friend. Someone's communicating with you to help give you clarity about something, you know, uh, uh, some kind of action or, uh, you know, action that has occurred. I also feel like a lot of healing around here. Healing, fulfillment of wishes, uh, taking baths here, cleansing yourself, cleansing your energy too. Like this is also being vulnerable, feeling naked, okay? Uh, like this upper body here too. So like having a, a upper body strength is a, is a big deal here for you, Libra. Or your person, okay? World, new cycle, change. There's a lot of nakedness around here feeling exposed or exposure or being vulnerable here to allow this new cycle here, allow opp new opportunities to come in, getting out of that comfort zone. Uh, maybe some of you are changing up. Uh, uh, I'm hearing like fashion designers, maybe you're changing different outfits. You're deciding to add something new in, you know, maybe it is uh, ribbons or scarves or I, I don't know. You're just changing different designs or a design is changing in some way, shape or form. You could be on the web. Maybe some of you have a business on the web. Okay. And you're changing like the layout of your business or this person is okay. All right, celebrations over here. Okay, so your partner could be working on pushing away like uh, third-party situations. They could also be pushing away, you know, things that like alcohol, like drugs, whatever uh, they're indulging in and partying with friends or with family members here. Um, let's see. This could also be if someone has more than, uh, say they have two partners. Two sexual partners, male or female, take it as it resonates, pushing that away, not indulging in that. Let's see, Libra's partner, working, collaborating together. You got a lot of threes here, contracts, pushing away a contract or, or leaving, deciding to leave a contract. Whether you are in a business or a uh, situation with three or more individuals here deciding to go out on your own on my own yeah they want to do it all on their own or somebody wants yeah okay uh losing work or losing time energy losing money not having any creative ideas or not wanting to be creative not wanting to uh, 
put time and effort into this contract or into this third party situation or into you know, indulging in those things, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, okay? Sexual experiences, okay? I feel like this is kind of like a little laziness too. So some, you or your person can feel like a little lazy, uh, laziness on the side. I also feel like they may have a, be a little bit sneaky. I feel like they're trying to get away with something, but I feel like, uh, yeah, they just got couch potato over here, not wanting to put in work or effort, or this is you, or this is your person kind of like the side over here, but somebody's trying to sneak away or get away with something around a work situation or around a third party, whether this is a, you know, a, a sexual partner, if you have two or more partners, all right, somebody you work with. Is turning your back and that's the freaking truth this is reaping what you sow so you're reaping what you sow or your person's done and reaped what they've sow that's why they're pushing these temptations away there could be a lot of there could be someone around you that's being very immature a little infantile here nature I also feel like uh, there's news about this if that has not come in it will be coming in this week clarity in this situation all right, let's see. What else is going on for Libra here in their person? This is a little bit heavy, guys. All the messages are going to be different. None of these messages are going to be the same. And they're not going to be for every Libra, and they're not going to be for every Libra's person, okay? So let's see. If you got somebody from your past coming back, or if this is somebody that you work with here, somebody that you've collaborated with, somebody you partied with, a friend, a family member, let's see what they want to say. What are they hiding? What is this sneaky behavior here? Someone wants to be more than friends, so you could be friends with this person. Uh, this Three of Cups is also about friendship, so someone that still wants to be friends doesn't want you to leave their friend group, okay? Also, if you were friends with a person, they or you had a connection with this person, they do want more than friendship. Maybe you had a friends with benefits and there was a third party here involved, okay? In a friend group. Just being near you is intoxicating. So someone likes to be near you, okay? They think a lot about you. They they also have this, uh, they have a very sexual attraction here to you. They also feel like they, maybe you partied with this person. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, I left when I saw you with someone, so you saw this person with someone, someone saw you with someone, could have been friends, it could have been family, it could have been, you know, two or more uh, males or females, okay, group of people, they saw you out, and they left, okay, they didn't, they, they didn't want to be seen, maybe, uh, you didn't see this person, but they saw you, <sighs> take it as it resonates, guys, so this is a little bit heavy here, guys, I don't know, Libra, all right, someone trying to get away with something. Someone could be an artist over here, or you're very cre uh, you're very artistic, but right now you're a little bit lazy. Maybe you don't have any creative ideas. You know, you need a little bit of light and inspiration. You're my world, my inspiration. So you're somebody's inspiration over here, Libra. Uh, the eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles so the news coming in this week taking a short journey yes is also taking flight horses could be significant to you maybe this is also galloping horses are very graceful and they're very beautiful um and they're very uh elegant with their moves how they move here so maybe tapping into some of that you know being more uh so there could be a little bit of shyness around you too trouble accusations here so oh, there's a frying pan okay this is also about not jumping in and leaving one frying pan and jumping into another frying pan so if you are leaving a connection you're leaving a you know home situation you're leaving a friendship group whatever uh you know sexual third parties it's not jumping into another frying pan so soon it's taking time to yourself been being wounded here whether it is sexually or not, okay? Because there's a lot of nakedness over here, a lot of exposure. So someone may be accusing you of something or you vice versa, all right? But you have triumph over troubles, over these troubles here. So 
sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. So yeah, like I said, getting creative here. You're somebody's inspiration or somebody's your inspiration. There could be family sorrow if you're leaving things behind and being guided to move forward in a new direction. Get out of that comfort zone. Get into something that's uncomfortable, something new, a new cycle, a new experience, a whole new world. All right, tell me about Libra's partner and reverse these roles, guys. It's not going to be the same for all Libras out there. Okay, check with the other readers out there. Check some of your other placements. We have plenty of material things here with uh, Libra's partner, this big bowl of fruit over here. Some of you may need to eat more fruit, bananas and pineapples. All right. So you are abundant and you, uh, maybe you're saying your affirmations. It says peacock, be aware of great pride. And so we all have pride. We all have ego, depending on whether you fall in temptation and you are feeding into that. Okay, that could be one of your internal demons to work on is pride and ego. All right. This is also about beauty, beautifying yourself, beautifying your work, your creative ideas, your projects here. Making uh, moles out of molehills. April could be significant. Something could have happened in April. You could be dealing with an Aries here. This is also things in bloom, cherry blossoms, big black horse and a cherry tree. So I don't know if that song is significant to you because we got horses and cherry blossoms over here. Guaranteed success with the star. You could be a star. You could be working your way to stardom. Maybe that's your goal, okay? Or it's just to be successful. It's just to be seen. It, it, the success could be anywhere. It could be romantic. It could be career-related, financial. Okay, just take it where it resonates. I don't see a whole lot of love here. All right, um, yeah, peace and harmony. So it could be just uh, finding inner peace, finding things that make you happy and harmonious here in life. What You maybe have a lot of wind chimes around your home. Any way the wind blows, what is that? Somebody listening to Queen, okay? You feel something's lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals, so... You have guaranteed success, whether you feel like right now something's lacking or you feel like you're on the, you know, you have a lack of inspiration or creative ideas or your projects here. There is a, there is things coming in, focusing on these goals, focusing on what inspires you, getting outside, getting creative, also getting out of that comfort zone, getting into a more uncomfortable new experience here, Libras. All right, let's see. What advice do you have for Libra and their partner for the first week of June? For Libra and their partner, what advice? It could be dealing with an Aquarius, too. I've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Leo, and Libra. Also being patronized. I feel like some of you are being patronized. If not, that you will be here possibly towards the end of the week, okay? What do you need to release, Libra? That's what it's asking you at this time. Your advice going within. Do you need to release the need to stay in a, a comfortable space? Do you need to release the fact that, uh, you know, it, it's your scheduling here being your priorities? You're not very organized, okay? Maybe it's getting into an organized state. So we've got conclusions are within reach with the full moon eclipse and it's saying take time to breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So maybe you're working on uh, focusing on your breathing here. This is also staying out of that, be aware of that great pride, you know, and things that'll frustrate you. You know, trouble, accusations, and not letting your uh, your temper take get the best of you, right? All right, let's see. Libra's partner. What is advice for Libra's partner? All right, so we have. You're very close to achieving your goal with the Gibbous Moon. Confidence is your key to success here. New Moon in Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo. This is also about your pride. And strength 
having that strength to move forward into these new experiences. We do got somebody, though, that does want to be more than friends with you, uh, Libra. Maybe they were just a friend, somebody from your past. All right, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. So you can be with dealing with a Leo or a Cancer or a Capricorn. A tough, uh, into a tough cycle approaches. So a tough end to a tough cycle approaches for the Libras. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now this could be uh, you working through those emotions here, letting go, especially if you had somebody sneaky around your work here. Uh, sneaky behavior, someone trying to get away with something related to, you know, contracts or partnerships here. Let's see. We've got learn. A, a little nudge is, it's now your turn. Put on your thinking cap. It's time to learn. It's time to learn something new. Time to put on your thinking pa cap. Pack. It's time to pack up. Somebody's packing up. All right. And, you know, get it, get into a more creative sta a state here. Uh, you know, also asking other individuals, someone that you can trust, you know, to get inspiration from. You're my heart and you're my inspiration. I just keep hearing this. All right. Uh, rose quartz crystal, soothing and warm, like love that flows. Once under your pillow, your magic grows. So maybe some of you need to put a rose quartz crystal under your pillow, getting into a more loving state, okay, and getting out of that uh, that materialistic way, this is what I'm hearing, materialistic way. There's a lot of money and sneakiness over here and a lot of indulging into, you know, temptations. On this side, it's more like uh, you're focused on healing. You're focused on new cycles. So uh, it's two different energies here. You're coming to this balance between you and your person. All right, we have fairy wings in the forest. Small lights glow. Those are fairies flying low. Some of you may be seeing uh, not necessarily fairies, okay? Dragonflies, whatever they call them. We used to call them lightning bugs back in the uh, in the day when we were children, right? Catching them, putting them in a jar. Just saying, get outside. Uh, some of you looking at the night sty. Sty. Somebody got a sty in their eye over here. I don't know. Something's going on with somebody's eye, not seeing clearly, especially this bandage. It looks like it's covering up somebody's eye. So I don't know if you had like eye surgery or you know, maybe you're seeing an eye doctor. So you got something in your eye, an infection. Somebody's got an infection over here, healing from that. But, um, you know, getting out and looking at the night sky, maybe you are seeing lightning bugs. All right. It's saying be strong. Uh, when trouble seems to be brewing near, your inner strength will keep you clear and uh, you know, be strong. You can't always be strong, Libra, but you can be brave and you can get through any challenge that comes your way. Uh, yes, it may be difficult, but the most part, the most difficult part of the situation is over or it's coming to a resolution here. So uh, be strong, be courageous, watch for pride, release those temptations, those release those temptations okay uh, the ties that bind is what I'm hearing and uh, get out of that comfort zone things that you're used to doing you're used to being stuck in and decide to get into an uncomfortable state all right try something new also patience here it is safe to wait so if you're worried or saying it's, it's okay to wait it's okay to take time to focus on your peace just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. So also, you know, pushing away drama. We don't need drama conflict. Focus on having peace for yourself, peace in your life, you know, peaceful individuals around you that want the best for you because not everyone out there wants to see the best for you. And I mean, that's not your problem, Libra. That's their own issue to deal with, okay? Focus on your own happiness and your own joy and what makes you happy. Hopefully these messages resonated for you, Libra. And if they did, like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate all your love and support for my channel. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.